So there's not an easy way to jump into this. So we're going to jump into it the best way I can. Now, I actually made a daily bits the other day where I said, hey, we're possibly going to start talking about this stuff. Uh, we're going to talk about something wild because I kind of do feel that it does fit in the mental health. Uh, maybe, maybe just, it kind of fits in the mental health category. Not completely, you're kind of pulling straws here, but I'm going to count it that way. Uh, so what is it we're talking about? We're talking about mukbang. And before you hop on Pornhub to try to figure out what that is, uh, I'm not saying don't hop on Pornhub to find out what that is, but I'm sure it exists on Pornhub. I'm just saying. Um, let me go ahead and explain it to you from what I can tell. Now, I've done a whole lot of research, and what we're going to do, we're actually going to take a look at a video of a compilation of some of this stuff. Um, that way we can both, well, all of us, can learn at the same time. Uh, I mean, won't that be grand? So let me go ahead and explain. Let me go ahead and explain. So what I can tell, I think it's a sensory thing, kind of like ASMR. I kind of feel like it fits in that category as well. Um, you have a user. Uh, some of these users are the content creators. Um, they have the very eccentric personalities for the most part. Some of them don't have personalities at all. Some of them don't even talk. They just eat a lot of food. So they're sitting in front of the camera, usually with a huge amount of food, more food than your body should probably be able to handle. But for some odd reason, these people most of the time are able to eat it all. And this is all they're doing. They're just sitting there, just gnawing and shoving shit down their throats. And, it's somewhat satisfying, I guess. I, you know, I watched a little bit of it. I'm like, okay, maybe I get it. Maybe I get it. Like me, I'm trying to lose weight. Uh, you know, my, I, I don't get as hungry as I used to. But, you know, I would really like to eat some chicken wings. But I don't have chicken wings. So I'm going to watch this person eat the chicken wings. Uh, very nasty to get that uh, out of my head. That's what I got from it. Now, like I said, some of these uh, some of these content creators are uh, dull as hell or really, really, really crazy. One that I've seen, um, I'm sure you guys heard of him uh, or maybe seen some clips with him in it, is Nikocado Avocado. That's if I pronounce that right. Um, he's a fucking train wreck in a good way. In a good way. I'm not. I'm not dissing him. Uh, you know, I, he found success doing something that. Is ultimately going to kill him. Sadly, I hope not. I hope you. I hope you get help. I really do. I hope you don't die from this. Um, you know, he used to be. I guess he used to be a vegan or vegetarian. Uh, he used to be really tiny. He used to be a skinny guy, and slowly but surely, he's become bigger than I am. I don't know if he ever reached uh, the same weight I was maybe a couple years ago, where I didn't give a shit about what I ate, and I still. I still eat bad shit, okay? I still eat bad stuff, but but I've been trying my best not to. Um, but you can slowly see this guy growing. Um, he's funny, though. He's hilarious, especially if you're a kid and you're just wanting some, like, cartoonish character just yelling and screaming. And <laughs> it, it, it's it's worth watching just, just for the cringe alone. It's, it's pretty good. And there are some other ones that are quite interesting but some of these guys and these ladies these gentlemen other people i don't know uh, they all kind of share some similar things they're all going to die eventually from something rather it be choking to death from a chicken wing or slowly allowing their bodies to just grow and grow and grow until they explode so let's go ahead and watch some of this and just kind of see uh, we're we're going to experience this together, okay? I've only watched a couple of these, but I figured the best way for us to do this is just kind of dive in together and s experience it together. So let's go ahead. I, I'll put the description of this video uh, in the description. In the description. I'll put the, I'll put the link to the video in the description. There we go. I can't talk. So let's go ahead and just dive in. We're going to dive in kind of heavy here. So this one, from what I can tell, I just started this video. I just kind of fast forwarded it to see what's on there to make sure there's nothing insane, but it's all insane. And we're going to go on this trip. Maybe, maybe, maybe a beer, maybe uh, a pound of weed. I don't know. Just do what you need to do because this is going to be nasty. <laughs> Oh, 
turn that down a little bit. Jeez. But I'm thinking I want to get into the sub first. Like as difficult. Okay, I'm not. I I I don't think she needs the sub. One thing, it looks disgusting. <laughs> it looks gross. I'm not going to lie. That's a lot of food. And that's a lot of woman. Um, I, I'm not trying to be fat phobic because I am a fat person myself. But I hope, I hope, I hope to God that she gets some help. That looks gross. I, I don't know. It, it might look good. It might be good. It might be delicious. The chili looks good. Uh, the onion rings and nacho what do we got we got onion rings nachos uh fucking beef sub fries uh, i wonder what she downs this with like a liter of like coke it, it'd be ironic if it was like diet coke cult is that's about to be look at that i got extra meat and cheese of course it's you did barbecue steak sub mm. Mm. Oh, she's she's got fucking chicken wings in there too. Look at all the stuff she has. She's got a, a smorgasbord full of just like crazy food. Uh, uh, this the sandwich does sound good. I'm not gonna lie, it does sound pretty good. Um, but <laughs> oh god, and it's got mushrooms too. Mm. Mm. At least we know she likes it. Mm. All right. So, I mean, you remember what I said about Pornhub, right? This is this is porn to somebody. This is definitely porn to somebody. Like, 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 you know, if I, it does look good. The food does look good. I'm not going to lie. It does look good. Um, she doesn't make it, she doesn't make it any more attractive, um, obviously. Uh, but good Lord, that's going to, how is she going to eat all that? I wonder if she actually eats the whole thing, like all of it. Oh my word. She didn't even touch the chili. I, <laughs> no, I at least use my silence for a moment. And it's like one of those times where you just kind of need a minute. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's... <laughs> well, there we go. There we go. There we go. So, I mean, right, right away, right away. You, you, that, that's a taste. That's a taste of what to expect uh, from these things. Like, um. At least you know they like the food. Uh, at least. If you haven't left the video already, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We got a little bit to go. Uh, this video is only like 10 minutes long. Uh, it doesn't have our boy, though. We'll, we'll try to find us a Nick Okado Avocado. Actually, actually, let, let's go ahead and find Nico. Uh, Nico Cado. Wait, there he is. Nick Okado Avocado. L let's find this boy. Uh, let's. Oh, Jesus Christ! Mukbang cringe. Let's maybe he's this. Maybe he's this. Is this the one we just watched? No, he's not. He's not in this. Obviously, you know, I should. I should. I probably should have. You know what? Here we go. You talk about mine all the time. I talk about how you treat me. They see how you treat me on videos. <laughs> Like cheese, you liar! Don't be a great man. You don't even like cheese. TikTok will love it. You're such a liar. You don't like cheese. TikTok will love it. How about you cry while I sing? You used to make me. He's very, very energetic. Very energetic. This is Nico Avocado. Uh, I don't know if that's his boyfriend or not. Uh, I think it is. I don't know. Uh, I know he's a gay man. Um, but what has he got? He's he's got a bowl full of fucking nacho cheese. That's a huge bowl of cheese. Like, that's a lot of cheese. 
and it looks like cheese sticks, uh, chicken, and fries. Vegan Vin is talking about how evil cheese sticks. And there's like a contradiction. It'll look at irony. Let's give them some. The irony is that we're vegan. You That's the irony. You but I don't think he's a vegan anymore. I'm pretty sure he's not. I'm pretty sure he eats everything now. I think he walked away from being a vegan. Like, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Because, like, I think he was kind of big in the vegan space because I, his mukbangs originally was vegan centered, I, I think. Pretty sure. And he kind of just walked away and was like, fuck it. I'm going to eat everything now. Like, everything. I'm not even going to discriminate on what I eat. And I'm going to have some fun doing it. And uh, it's like a soap opera. Like, really. Like, it's something you see on, uh, I don't know, morning, days of our lives, but really nasty. <laughs> I, while I sing, I don't choose. I love cheese. I love cheese. To I love cheese. To okay, that's there's enough of that. Let's 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 continue. Let's see. Oh, he's actually with. I, my my thing was here's the thing, and I don't want to be mean. I don't want to sound awful. I didn't know she could walk. I don't know if she like has to use like a powered chair. Uh, you know, obviously she's quite big. Uh, so I'd imagine it'd be kind of hard to walk. I don't know what both of these people's like health diagnoses are. Uh, that's a lot of fucking ramen one. That's a lot of ramen. That's a whole lot of ramen. Uh, you know, I love ramen. I love real ramen, but I don't like to eat, uh, eight bowls full of ramen. Um, but you know, I, I I wonder what the their medical records look like. I'm imagining things like coronary heart disease, which I have, diabetes, which I have, high blood pressure, which I have, uh, sleep apnea, which I have. Good lord, uh, this is embarrassing. Restless leg syndrome, which I have. Uh, one testicle, which I have. One testicle. My God. <laughs> uh. What what else what else what else is there what else um do we fat people have I mean I have a lot um depression crippling depression that's it that's I'm sure these guys have that too so let, let's let's continue let's let's just kind of see uh, let's see this beautiful mess let's go for it <laughs> just do it. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or not. I really don't. Hungry fat chick. Maybe that's her name. Hungry fat chick. I I don't want. I'm not calling her fat. I'm pretty sure that's the channel name. It's hungry fat chick. Um, but good lord, those arms, honey, honey, honey. I'm not trying to fat shame you. Um, I do not want you to die, uh, and I don't want you to die either, Nikocado. I really don't. Um, you guys do make the ramen sound like it is amazing, though. Let's kind of continue. Let's let's see if there's. Let's see. Let's go a little bit further. Let's go a little further. What what are they drinking? It, tell, please, God, tell me. That's a Diet Coke. Lately, I've been eating ginger. I'll start just. Uh, <laughs> I'll start munching on ginger early in the day, and I can no, kind of get through the day without having a lot of crazy craving. Mm. It actually, kind of helps my appetite. The ginger. Mm-hmm. Mm. At least Nikocado is trying to be healthy by eating a whole fucking cucumber. Like, I mean, that's, that's got to count for, what does she got? It's, oh, it's ginger ale. That's it. That's it. And I don't understand how ginger ale, like, helps your, uh, appetite. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But I, <laughs> I was hoping, I was hoping to God that was going to be a something diet because uh, the irony, the irony. And this is coming from somebody that just stuffed his face with, uh, a large, uh, a big piece of coconut chocolate egg that my mom made. Probably not good for me. Which, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's why That's why I'm in the predicament I'm in. 
but doesn't mean I'm going to do mukbangs. Um, <laughs> I just feel sorry for her, though. Uh, this is almost as bad. Yeah, Boogie Two Ninety Eight was one of the guys I used to watch a lot, and he was like five hundred, maybe six hundred pounds. And you know, I felt bad for him, like having to walk around. Like when I started getting neuropathy in my feet, like I could only imagine getting that big, just walking, just walking around for the most part. Like for fuck's sake, I I don't even know what you would even do. Uh, I, I would my my biggest fear. My biggest fear was getting so big, so big that I was confined to my bed. You, you guys seen this, my six hundred pound life? You're seeing that stuff. That's that's crazy. I you know it scares the hell out of me to get that big, um, because I mean at that point you just gave up on life. You're like fuck it. I'm just gonna eat whatever I want as much as I want and get as big as I want, and I don't give a damn. I'm just gonna do it. Uh, but but you know we just kind of dived a little bit. I gave you a sample of it. We're gonna kind of continue this trend. We'll find out more about our heroes of mukbang as we go on together down this road. And I'll actually do some research next time. But I just wanted you guys to experience this with me together. That way we kind of know what we're going into. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon.